All right, so today we're gonna turn my Rad Runner Plus into a solar powered bike. And my goal is to turn this into a cross crunchy bike. And in this video, we're gonna see exactly what it takes and all the tools that I bought to make the conversion. So you can see I have a basic Rad Runner Plus and we're gonna be utilizing the box in the middle as well as a large front basket for my conversion. So this is all the stuff I bought for the trip. Um, this is a 300 watt panel from eBay, and that's 300 China watts. Realistically, it's probably 100 watts. Got this on Amazon. It's 52 volts, 20 amp hours. And actually, they shipped it to me damaged in a very thin box, so I had to solder on the charge port as well. I bought a LiPo bag for the battery. This battery is going to be between my legs, and I want that extra 5 seconds to get away when it does explode. This is an XT60 adapter for the battery and it goes directly into the um, Rad Runner controller. Right here is an MPPT solar charger. It's actually a boost controller and it's going to up the voltage from um, 18 volts to 58 volts to charge my battery. One half inch conduit by 10 feet and this is what's going to be holding my solar panels. I want to do a canopy build because I don't want to get sunburned. My friend CNC these special mounts and we are going to bend the conduit with this um, conduit bending stick that uh, you can buy from Home Depot. Alright guys wish me luck. So we built the mount to design it to fit into the front basket. It's coming up from the bottom for underneath support and also we have this mount here. Alright we're going to measure the bend right now so it goes right over my head. Here we go. It's hard. How is that? It's difficult. That looks a lot of pressure. We ran into our second problem. We forgot to slide on the mount before bending the pole, so we actually had to unbend the pole. It looks like we did mess up. It's not fitting in the garage. All right. I think we just decided to tilt the bike sideways for now to get into the garage. And now we're going to mount the solar panels. Now we got some extra space, I'm going to take it off with this pipe cutter. And it works by just tightening and turning until the pipe falls off. Now that the canopy is mounted with the solar panel, um, we're going to first drill a hole. We're going to make that hole bigger, see, one of the drain holes. And the battery is going to go in here. We're going to feed it right through and connect it to the controller. It comes out the back. Right here, and we'll plug it here. Um, when I do run out of batteries, I will just unplug this one and stick in the stock battery. So that should get me about maybe 50 miles a day, I'm hoping. Um, I'm hoping the solar gets me about 20 miles a day and I can bike the remaining uh, 10 miles a day. I'm looking for about 80 miles a day for my bike traveling. It's almost the final product. I'm missing one solar panel on the back. Um, it's about 5 p.m. right now, California sun, and you can see it charging right now. It looks pretty goofy, but it'll do. Yeah, so I did post about this on the Rad Runner website, and instead of getting a lot of uh, love from the community, they all laughed at me. Um, we're gonna check the Facebook post right now, and I got about 200 reactions. Out of the 200 reactions, I got about 34 people laughing at me. Um, some of the meanest comments, let's go over them right now. Spare battery would work a little better, and the added benefit is it doubles as a parasail. The panel seems kind of high in the air. Have you thought about lowering it? Why is it so high? Um, so it's closer to the sun, of course. You need a Starlink antenna up there, too. So you're going for wind propulsion. What about windy days? Beware of updrafts. I know I should not. One of the most ridiculous, poorly thought out, and poorly engineered contraptions I've ever seen. Where do I start? Let's say this. It will not make 100 miles. Alright, so I took down the build, you know, that was really depressing, a lot of bad feedback. And guess what, I'm doubling down on the canopy. Instead of removing it, I'm going to make it twice as big to show everyone in the community that they're wrong. And that's just how I work. Okay, so on the right is my new canopy, and this is a Renogy 175 watt. Notice that it's actually larger in size, but smaller than stated description than the 350 watt uh, solar panel I got on eBay. I love the canopy idea. The footprint is reduced in my opinion. 
and despite all the mean comments we're just gonna double down test it out and see how it works okay so I got the Jenison 58.4 volt charger and let's hope this is a little bit more efficient than the cheap Chinese boost control that I have right now all right guys this is with the bigger panel now um, to prove that it works I removed the battery so we're gonna see if it works without the battery with the bigger panel and the new Jenison controller so let's get started it's about 2 p.m. right now Turns on. Voltage is too low. So it's pure electric energy right now. That's pretty cool, we got about six miles an hour. There's too much shade and trees around, but six miles an hour starting from a standstill without any battery is pretty impressive. So in peak sunlight, I'm getting about 126 watts feeding the battery, and that wasn't enough to ride the bicycle without the need for battery and just solar power alone. Here's the final look. As you can see, I lowered it about six inches so it could fit inside the garage. I added some panniers in the back, and I also added this rear support. It's still a little bit wobbly, but I tested it up to 30 miles an hour yesterday with strong winds. Everything looks good. I just hope it holds up over a trip of about 450 miles. Thanks for watching the video. I'm finished with my bicycle. As you can see, it's doing pretty well. And if you want to see me make a fool of myself or prove those haters on the internet wrong, please subscribe to me and watch me take my bike down the coast of California to Los Angeles 